Well, this past weekend, the students at Lee High School had their pink out game for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this is a picture from their pep rally. And for the associate director of the Lee High School Band, Vicki Watson, this show of support hits close to home. Vicki is a breast cancer survivor, and she's hoping her message to students about getting checked and being proactive when it comes to their health will help them for years to come. I, I love what I do. Music is, is more than just teaching. It's my hobby, and I share my passion with my students. You can see Vicki Watson's passion for music and for teaching when you walk into the Lee High School Band Hall. But something also she is passionate about, making sure her students understand the importance of taking care of their health and following through with routine wellness checks. Well, I advocate to my students and everyone I know that they should get their wellness checkups every year and not skip it. Because had I skipped that year and waited, things could have been a little different. Vicki was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020. At the time, she was a band director at Kruger Middle School. She had surgery to remove the tumor and went through chemotherapy, but she did not stop teaching. Every two weeks, I went for chemotherapy. So I went on on Friday, and then uh, Monday I was back at work, and my kids were my biggest cheerleaders. They were there for me. Vicki's students continue to keep her going. Now at Lee High School, a few of the students remember what she went through when she was teaching at Kruger Middle School. And she was such an important figure in my life, still is now, but at that time especially. Um, and so it was really scary, um, but I got to see her really push through all of it and just dedicate herself to teaching. And it was so amazing to see her be so strong. And just seeing her, how she teaches us after everything that's happened to, like, to her, it's like inspiring. And it shows us that we can like get through anything if we like try hard enough and put our effort. Vicki is now cancer free. She just got the news at her follow up last week and she is still doing what she loves, teaching, but also serving as a role model where about half of the drum line is female. I loved playing drums, so it makes me happy to see girls not looking at it as only boys can do it. Um, you know, and I'm, and I'm proud, like I said, of all my kids. But yeah, of course, I mean, I'm female and they're, they're out there and they're holding that drum and, you know, they don't ever really complain. So I like that about the drum line. And watching her go through it all, Vicky's son tells us he is so proud of his mom. She's the, the best, like, teacher that I know. She's the best woman I know. So she's, she's really inspiring. And, yeah, it's, it's good to see her getting to do what she loves and enjoy it every single day. Oh my gosh, Stephanie. <laughs> I know. I'm tearing up right here. I like almost forgot we were in the middle of a show. That was so incredible. Oh, thank you. I, I mean, it was uh, awesome to, you know, interview Vicki yeah. and uh, also uh, her son. So it was interesting because like her son, when, uh, when she was diagnosed, he was a senior in high school. And so he, you know, of course, watching her go through us, but you know, uh, she, he, of course he's inspired like the students are inspired and um, she got the best news literally just last week. Wow. Finding out that she is now cancer free. So we are very happy. Yeah, very happy. congratulations. And you know, we can obviously tell with the emotion on everyone's interview in that story that everyone is very, very happy for you. Yeah, for sure. Thank Aww. you, Vicki.